inorganic minerals are uh, minerals like calcium and magnesium and copper, which you might dig out the ground. The issue, you know, iron for example, these are all minerals that our body needs. We use these minerals um, particularly as cofactors and, co and coenzymes uh, for, uh, for enzymic reactions within the body. That's where they're particularly used. The, um, the issue about them is that when they're in their inorganic form, so a piece of metal, you can't eat it. Um, and uh, so even when they're dissolved in that sort of inorganic form, they're not very readily absorbed from our digestive tract. Whereas organic uh, minerals are the, the same mineral bound to an organic compound uh, within your food, which is then more readily absorbed. So for example, the best way of getting iron into your body is from natural sources of heme, hemoglobin, uh, which you would get from red meat. Um, whereas if you take ferrous sulfate, which is what the GP will give you um, if you are anemic, the problem with ferrous sulfate, if you, have any, if you know any pregnant ladies, is it turns their stool to tar because 95% of it passes through their body and does not get absorbed. Less than 5% of the ferrous sulfate gets absorbed. And that's true for all minerals. So if you have um, uh, inorganic calcium, for example, 95% of that calcium is gonna pass through your body and is not gonna be absorbed. Whereas when you have, uh, when you have calcium that's bound within uh, an organic compound, that does get absorbed. So there's a very big difference in the utilization of the minerals. Um, so the, the thought that you're going to get all these minerals from heavy mineralated water, you're, the, obviously the more minerals in the water, because it's a percentage of it, the more of it you will absorb, but you're absorbing a very small fraction of it and most of it you're passing through.